Oh, hey guys, Boston fan back with another TTM minute. Three TTMs came waterlogged in the mail today. Today we're having a pretty good nor'easter. Rain, snow, snow, rain, rain, snow. And then yesterday also a purchase that came in from SCN. So I just figured I'd share those with you guys. Work's pretty busy, so I haven't been able to make a lot of videos. Let's do the purchase. I paid $4 for these two cards on Sports Collectors. It's been a while since I purchased on Sports Collectors. Um, just been going after more certified stuff, but, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, and just have kind of gotten off of purchasing, you know, other people's TTMs and stuff like that. But saw the post and the cars interested me. They're for my 74 set. I can get them out. Tape in there. So that's why it's hard. All right, I'll take that off. So for $4 shipped in a PWE, I got Tom Timmerman on his 74 tops, number 327, so that's new for the set, and Milt May, number 293. I think I had both their cards unsigned for my set, but now add them to the set. So I have, I have over 400 cards in the 1974 top set signed, um, so this is just adding to it. A couple of nice signatures. Um, they both look authentic to me based on previous research I've done on both these players. Um, we'll put Milt May on top. I've always liked that card. Um, so nice to get after a long time adding to the 74 set. Not part of my yearly goals because I've just kind of put that aside, but I collect as many 74s as I possibly can. So that's really nice to add two more to that set. Be interesting to see how many I actually have. All right. First TTM back is from North somewhere, North Houston, maybe. Um, got waterlogged. Everything got waterlogged today, in fact. And it is back from College Hall of Famer, Dave Elmendorf. from the card got, eh, not really waterlogged, but more kind of bent up. Dave Elmendorf signed his football card. Got that at a show recently. Alan God bless. And the Rams and Hannah, I chose football. Okay, so... He was an All-American in football and baseball, and he was actually drafted by both the Yankees and the Rams in 1971. So he says he chose football over baseball because there are no minor leagues in football. So he had to go right to the pros. Was a starter for the Rams my whole nine-year career. Never missed a start. I'm so blessed. So that's actually kind of cool. I didn't really think about that. So yeah, so if you sign a professional contract, you're going right to the pros versus if you get drafted by the Yankees, you might end up in purgatory in the minor leagues forever. So again, he was drafted. He was an All-American um, in college. He's actually in the College Football Hall of Fame, like I said before. Um, he played nine years for the Rams. He was an All-Rookie in 1971 and second team All-Pro in 1975. I just thought it was really neat that he was drafted in the same year by two professional teams. Um, that came back in two weeks. So that was a nice success. He free. Next one back is from Santa Clarita, California. And it is Mickey Klutz. So Mickey Klutz, his biggest name to fame is that he's on Alan Trammell and Paul Molitor's rookie card. He signed a 1980 Tops, really nicely blue. 80 Tops tends to, to bubble or bleed a little bit. 81 Tops came out really, really nice. 81 Donruss, pretty nice. 83 Tops came out really nice. And then he added to my 77. It's kind of beat up. Rookies, so next we'll go to probably Bill Allman. And I, th I think Tommy McMillan signs, so I'd like to add that. So this came back earlier this year from Mark Wagner. So I'll set that one aside to resend out. And we're going to showcase the 83 tops. Mickey Klutz was the international MVP in 1976. Hence, he is on the 77 rookie stars and probably also why he was included on the 78 rookie card as well. Um, that year, he batted 319 with 24 home runs and 80 RBIs in the International League. Um, overall, he played eight seasons in Major League Baseball. He never really made a name for himself except that as a utility guy, he was a favorite of Billy Martin when he played for the A's. So my claim to fame, why I know Mickey Klutz is that 78 tops rookie card, but Billy Martin also liked him. There's some value in that too. Nice, thank you Mr. Klutz for signing those cards for me. That's really awesome. That 
Might be the first time I've gotten Mickey Klutz back in the mail. I can't remember. First time for Dave Elmendorf, and then those two are also first timers in my collection. Last one back is from Baltimore, Maryland, and this one feels like it got soaked, so we'll see what's inside. I'm pulling out Tippy Martinez. So this is back in two weeks. Mickey Klutz was three weeks. Um, Tippy Martinez comes back in two weeks for us, um, and he signed in thin Sharpie. I think you can see it. The 83 Donruss did not sign the 83 tops. Maybe I sent too many cards. The 78 tops. I love the 84 Fleer. I just like the look of them. Sign the 84 Fleer. And then I picked this up at a show, the 76 tops. So that's why I ended up sending to Tippy. It's been a few years. He's a great signer. He'd be a TTM Hall of Famer. He signs everything. Might be four cards per request because he did not sign my 83. That's totally okay. Mr. Martinez, if you forever, whatever reason you venture onto my channel, thank you so much for signing my cards. That 76 looks really cool. Um, he played 14 years in the major leagues uh, with the Yankees, the Orioles, and then he finished up with a, just a few games with the Minnesota Twins. Um, he was a member of the 1979 Orioles who lost the World Series, but he was also a member of the 1983 Orioles who won the World Series. He collected two saves in that World Series. Um, he was also an all-star in 1983, so he put up quite a nice year. Um, when he went 9-3 and three with a 235 ERA and 21 saves. Overall for his career, he was 55-42 and 42 with a 345 ERA and 115 saves. So solid big league career from Tippy Martinez um, and played on some of those last excellent Oriole teams as that quasi-dynasty kind of kind of fizzled out. and Kind of cool that he collected two saves on the 83 World Series over the Phillies. Um, so that's this week's or the current successes that I got back. Um, Tippy Martinez is not new to my collection. I've sent to him before. But overall, pretty cool. Added a College Hall of Famer. That's really nice. Added the to my multi-signed rookie card. Also pretty cool. And I'm glad that I made that purchase to get a couple more 74s. Anyway, that's it for me. It's way more than a minute, but it always is. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the content, and I hope you watch again. Until next time, I'll see you later.